Yeah, like right on the set, yeah, tape. and we're rolling. Okay. Cody Maverick interview, take one. So why are you guys here to interview me? It's what we do. We're a reality film crew. Should I know some of the questions before we start? Just so no, I don't... No, you just, you know, they're, they're easy. Okay. Can you stand on that box right there, please? Oh, yeah. Just yeah, stand yeah, up yeah. on that, thanks. <clears throat> uh, it's right, right there. Thank you. Thank Whoa, you. what's okay. the, what is that? <laughs> what is that? It's a sound thing. It's a microphone. What's up, man? I'm Cody. And you're what, 14, 15 years uh, old? Uh, 17 years of age. And uh, <laughs> any other skills besides surfing? Like, like what, like singing and dancing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, not me, man. I just surf. Loser. I just <laughs> cut it out, Glenn. Stop, man. You know we're here to make a movie about Cody. Why does does he have yeah, to be there? It's gonna be great. Can I get in line now to not see it? We'll reslate. Since we're talking about surfing, why don't yeah. you give us your thoughts about surfing? Surfing, surfing. Where do I start? How about just at the beginning? Okay. Well, uh, so as soon as there was the first wave, right? There was the first surfer. All they needed was like a, um, you know, something like a some piece of driftwood, a block of ice or something like that. And then they were off. And they were hooked, man. They were hooked. Up till recent times, you had your old dudes, you know, your, your hang six cats. These old guys used to lay down with these huge, humongous boards. And these guys were the pioneers but nobody saw what surfing could really be until Big Z did it. Could you tell us who Big Z was? Who is Big Z? You're asking the right guy. You got, you got that far. Z is <laughs> everything. Big Z is surfing, man. I mean, he's, the May Will has not been an ocean before Z. Z. They invented the ocean for him. And he lived so hard because he wasn't afraid to live. He wasn't afraid to die. I came to Antarctica when I was just a kid. Man, it was just, it was the biggest thing that ever happened here. And suddenly there he was, just floating over the water, just hovering, you know, like weightless. Could have walked up to anyone. And he walks right up to me. And he gives me this awesome, one-of-a-kind Big Z necklace. And then he tells me, you know, kid, you know, never give up. Find a way, because that's what winners do. He was the greatest. Everyone looked up to him, respected him, loved him. And one day, one day I'm going to be just like him. And I've been surfing ever since I can remember. It's just hard to imagine any part of my life when I wasn't surfing. I want to get out of here, you know? And this is my ticket out. I'm really good, man. I'm the best on the island. I know it sounds cocky saying that, but I mean, I am like the best. Yeah, I was, I was born and raised here in Shiverpool. Lived here my whole life. It's where they sort the fish. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. But yeah, I, I worked there just to kind of pacify my mom a little bit. Good old shiver pool. <laughs> this place sucks, bro. I worked my way up from the sardine pile, uh, then to the mackerel pile, dead. and I ended up on the gefilte fish pile. Dead. All hard work. It's not like some I could mention. Yes, this for the kid with the thing on the water. My house? It's down over there. You see it right there with the surfboards? Yeah, I mean, I just live here with me and my brother Glenn, my mom. He was a little teeny small egg. Uh, he wasn't very impressive. Glenn was the big egg, Cody was a small egg. He can't help it. He's, you know, that's just the way he is. I mean, he's out there in the water all day. All day. You know, shirking his responsibilities. Yeah, shirking, you know. Hatching these eggs is a big responsibility. It's on, Glenn. My brother Cody, he just doesn't understand that. Mm -hmm. He needs to step up and be a man. It takes a real man to sit on an egg. You know it. Quincy, come to daddy. 
He wants to be different and all the time with the different or at the time in the day. Only six months in a day. Thanks for making it. Yeah, sorry. It's yeah, just too good to make it. Yeah, how was it out there? He's a big brother. I'm the little brother. I'm not touching you. I'm not going to touch see this? you. Not Don't. Get, I'm please. not. He makes sure that I know that, too. I had to fight for everything. I mean, even mom's tuna casserole, you know? I'm lucky I survived. It really wasn't that easy for him growing up. Like I said before, uh, he never, he never really knew his father. I'm not really the person to ask about it, truthfully, because I was just too young to remember. I mean, it, look, I'm not the only kid on the island whose dad was, you know, eaten. Still, it had to be traumatic. No, not for me, bro. Not for me. What's your dream? To go uh, away. <clears throat> to go away. That's 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 great. Mm. Do you guys want a drink? Got to run away. They from don't want a drink. Responsibility and life. This is kind of this is unique. This is this is I not the norm. Dreams. So. Uh... When is this not happening? What? Don't make that noise. <laughs> Cody. It's really disrespectful. <laughs> I would never do that. Mm -hmm. that. You just wouldn't make it out of your mouth. That's you know the what? difference between you and me. You know what? I can't do this anymore. Mom, look what you did. This is for me. This isn't for you. Why is Glenn still here? No, yeah, exactly. Mom! I don't understand why everybody has to be so judgmental. I understand why mom's judgmental. I think it's because she cares partially. I think it's also 